Hello everybody, this is Matt Bogart with Backyard Installers and uh, we are going to be talking about how to do a factory door upgrade uh, for an 8 inch driver. Now this is uh, going to be a very large driver. This is the, the factory locations has a little bucket here to you know for your little pocket stuff. But we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna not attempt but we're going to build a factory literally what would look like factory. Okay it's not gonna I'm gonna try to make it no higher than this original size. Um, I'm also gonna keep in the details such as the light structure here so that we have the lights. I mean, we're literally, I'm trying to make this as factory looking. Now the grill, we won't do a grill on this one. This is going to be a straight up, you know, it shows the, it shows the eight inch fully exposed because I prefer it that way in terms of sound. Um, but basically we have to go through a series of events to do this. Uh, this is the, the factory one. We actually went out and uh, purchased a whole replacement door panel. Um, and to do the, to do the work that we have to do now, I've already gone ahead and I've already started to remove all the components. As you can see here, all the, the components have been removed. Uh, here they are in, in their piece formats. And so, as you can see, you got a grill, a back piece, a grill, uh, grill structure, and then um, apparently I seem to have lost the door handle. Oh, no, sorry, and the door handle piece. These all. Uh, bolt off. Uh, they either bolt off or they unscrew. Um, they also, uh, a lot of the times what they do is they do a, um, a factory weld. And so you've got, in some cases, there'll be like a, a screw hole, okay? In other cases, it'll be a weld. And so you have to, you have to cut the weld off. But you have to just re-weld that later on. It's no big deal. Now, in the, the shape of this uh, door panel, we're going to have to do some pretty uh, intricate uh, fiberglassing to build this thing because the idea is, is I don't want to just lob off a whole section and pray we can somehow put this together and make it look good. What I'm actually going to do is, is I'm going to actually only remove the portions that I need, which basically is the bulk of the center right here. You know, all the center piece is going to go. We're going to keep all the detail of the line edges going up and around right here and including the line edges around here. And the idea would be is, is that the, when we build the, the, the piece that goes down in here, the actual bucket itself, it'll fit right into those factory lines. And you'll get a very factory look. Uh, the overall look will be incredibly factory. Um, the bucket here will be gone, which then gives me one small problem. This piece, this, this uh, vinyl insert here, is actually part of the plastic structures. This continues all the way up through here. As you can see here on the back side, this is where the filler is, this is where the actual vinyl goes down into a rail right here. So I'm going to have to cut all this out uh, and then figure a way to build the structure so that it can support, re-support this area. This has to be supported because otherwise it's going to flap around. The rest of it's got bolts. Like I said, it's got, you know, you see a series of bolts. I actually have a series of, uh, of, of placements for screws on the handle side to help hold the back end. Then I'm going to do um, through, the, through the light right here. I'm actually going to drill a hole here and then we'll have a bracket that goes to the steel. And so on the, the actual bucket structure, we'll have a bracket built right into it. And so we'll actually screw it right into the steel of the car and stuff. The front nose of this is going to have also a bucket structure, but the bucket's going to have to go through the steel. The reason for that is, is that this is going to uh, be using a very large driver. Uh, it is six and uh, five eighths inches. I mean, it's three and five eighths inches of depth. It's one of the deepest uh, eights I've ever put into a car. But we should have a solid from this. We should be able to get a solid. Um, I would say anywhere between 50 and 60 hertz. Um, we're at 400 watts doing about 117 to 118 dB. Now that's going to be amazing in terms of overall mid-base character. But for right now that's what we're going to be doing. Oh, um, how we're going to how we're going to do parts is pretty straightforward and simple. First thing we're going to do is we have to recreate a top sheet. And so as the original parts went together uh, like this, what we're going to do is we're going to recreate this into a single piece. And with that I'm going to then glass on top creating the overall sheet including the edge round you know this perimeter right here and stuff like that and this perimeter that I need right here these are these are very very important perimeters I have to have I may even maybe even think about vacuum bagging them or, or something like that uh, just just to simply get them uh, to get the detail as, as tight as I can get it um, but uh, we also have to remove all the vinyl uh, has to be removed off these because I need the thicknesses they've already compensated them from the factory so 
why not use what the factory's already done? No reason to go and reinvent the wheel. Um, so, but it'll also give me shape because as you can see here, it, it, you know, it, it's a curved with a line in it. And since I want to preserve all these, these visual effects, um, these are very important. I want to keep these visual effects in the uh, install so that when you put it back on the door, it looks like it was part of a factory install. So anyway, that's it for right now. Um, as you can see, Neil out here, he's, he's having the joy time of uh, de-gooing de his door panels. <laughs> so until then.